Hey guys, I'm a verified educator at an academy and along with that I'm also teaching live at an academy plus to access my live classes you can take an academy plus subscription now an academy plus offers some interesting features apart from live classes which include detailed and complete explanation of a particular course then there you have problem a discussion for self evaluation you can also watch recorded version of the class in case if you miss out any live session you have regular doubt clearing sessions for doubt clearing and to clarify all your problems you also get access to the whatsapp group to clear and discuss problem among the other plus students now if you have found these features interesting and want to join an academy plus i'll recommend you to use my referral code that is n underscore huda to get 10 percent discount on the subscription fee now that's all about an academy plus Let's continue with our video. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is going to be about Huckel molecular orbital theory and like many of you have requested me to make a video on this particular topic and it's quite interesting and very important topic from exam point of view be it CSRnet or your gate exam in all these exams this particular topic is one of the most important one and the easiest one from your quantum chemistry right so let's try to understand uh, this particular thing and there are two ways to to like to understand this thing uh, one is the usual way which you will find in books but i'll try to explain you with the help of trick okay this is one of the trick which uh, i want to share with all of you guys in this particular video so just watch this video carefully and after this video you'll be able to do like you'll be able to find out these roots of secular determinant then you'll be also able to find out energy of conjugated system like these kind of questions are generally asked then also you can you will be able to find out delocalization energy although if time will not permit i'll try to make a separate video on delocalization energy but for now uh, these two things for sure you are going to learn uh, how to find them out from Huckel molecular orbital theory uh, for your acyclic that is for your linear system as well as for your cyclic system so let's start with the thing so just make note of like take out your notebook and just make note of all these tricks and everything which I am going to share with you guys today so uh, first of all we'll talk about uh, for the linear molecule or I would say for acyclic molecule like you have a thin molecule or you have like one two um, one three butadiene so all these conjugated system okay because Huckel molecular orbital theory you can only apply in conjugated system be it uh, like your um, like allylic system also uh, like allylic radical or uh, or carbocation so for them also you can apply this uh, Huckel molecular orbital theory also you can apply that for like uh, conjugated like two electron conjugated system or four electron uh, four pi electron conjugated system so uh, there you can apply this particular theory okay so this particular first trick is for your linear molecules okay so for that in order to find out energy or the roots of your secular determinant for both of them you can use this particular equation that is ek is equals to alpha plus two beta cos k pi by n plus one okay where your alpha and beta are constants they have their, their different values and generally uh, like energies are expressed in the terms of alpha and beta itself so you don't need to put the values of them okay you just need to get the answer in the terms of alpha and beta now k is a constant and it can have value like one two three remember k cannot have a value zero that's what the trick says so you have to uh, write down the value of k from one so it can have one two three uh, dash 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 up to uh, like up to the value of n okay so k can have value starting from 1 to the value of n where n is the number of carbon atoms so how many carbon atom you have so that will be much clear if you just understand it from uh, the help of this example so let's take example of this ethene molecule now ethene molecule is this that is ch2 double bond ch2 here you have two carbon atoms so that's why n value will be 2 over here right now that uh, what will be the value of k then so if n is equals to 2 then k will start from 1 k can be 1 it can be 2 okay it cannot be more than 2 so 1 or 2 so let's take when the k is equals to 1 in that case it will become e1 we are just putting the values over here you can just relate to them so it will be alpha plus 2 beta cos and it will be 1 pi or just pi divided by 2 plus 1 why because n is equals to 2 over here so 2 plus 1 will give you 3 
so you will be getting e1 is equals to alpha plus 2 beta cos pi by 3 now cos pi by 3 is nothing but your cos 60 degree for those who are from bio background those who don't know about this thing pi means 180 degrees right so 180 by 3 will give you 60 degrees so cos 60 has a value of 1 by 2 okay so now cos 60 has a value 1 by 2 just cancel both the, both of them you will get alpha plus beta so the energy level e1 will have energy value alpha plus beta now that's what you got for k is equals to 1 now k can have one more value that is k is equals to 2 so if you put k is equals to 2 you will be getting e2 and that will be equal to alpha plus 2 beta and now you have like in the equation you are having k pi right so you have to put 2 like 2 over here so that will become 2 pi divided by 2 plus 1 that will be give you give 3 now again uh, if you are from bio background you can understand in this way this is like 2 pi divided by 3 that means um, like 60 into 2 that will give you 120 degree if you are from math background you can understand it in this way that is you can write down 2 pi by 3 as this that is pi minus pi by 3 180 minus theta this comes under second quadrant and in the second quadrant cos is negative so that's why it will become negative of cos 60 that means cos like cos 60 is 1 by 2 so that will be minus 1 by 2 and for those who are from bio background just understand this that cos 120 has a value minus 1 by 2 so that will give you minus 1 by 2 solve that this 2 and this 2 will cancel out each other you will get alpha minus beta so you have two values of energies so for ethene molecule you have two uh, like two energy levels like psi 1 and psi 2 the energy value for psi 1 will be like alpha plus beta and the energy value for psi 2 will be alpha minus beta now you have to be very careful with assigning the energy values always remember the one which has plus sign will be lower in energy and the one which has negative sign will be higher in energy so actually uh, the beta value the value of beta is negative actually in case so if you put beta value in negative so this will become alpha minus beta like alpha minus when you put the numerical value of b so numerical value of b is in negative terms so that's why this will become low of lower energy that's why it lies in the lower way and when you put negative of some numerical value this will become positive so it will have a higher energy term that's why it is higher in energy so you can understand it in the other way around that always the plus sign will be written in the downward and the minus sign will be written in the higher energy okay so don't get confused that why the higher energy is written downwards and the lower energy is written upward that's because beta has a negative numerical term or the nu negative numerical value so i hope this is quite clear with the help of this uh, ethene molecule we'll take one more example to understand it in more detail now there was a question asked in gate 2012 exam and the question was about your allylic radical okay so the allylic radical is given to you over here like this and they have asked that uh, the energy values for this so it's quite simple your n value for allylic molecule will be 3 because here you have 1 2 and 3 carbon atoms so that's why n value will be 3 over here now what about your k value so k can be equal to 1 so that means e1 so for e1 you will be having alpha plus 2 beta and then you have cos k pi that means only pi will be written over here because k is 1 and n is, is equals to 3 over here so 3 plus 1 so you'll get alpha plus 2 beta and you'll get cos pi by 4 now cos pi by 4 i'll just write down over here uh, pi means 180 degree so 180 by 4 will give you 45 degree so that is actually equal to cos 45 degree and it has a value of 1 by root 2 so just put it you'll get alpha plus 2 beta and that will be multiplied by 1 by root 2 okay now this root 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out and you will get alpha plus root 2 beta okay those who didn't understood this just try to understand in this way 2 beta uh, into 1 by root 2 just rationalize this multiply and divide, it by, and divide by root 2 so you'll get 2 root 2 beta divided by 2 this 2 and this 2 will cancel out you'll get root 2 beta so from there it came okay so it came the even value came out to be alpha plus 2 root 2 beta for k is equals to 2 if i find uh, if i write it down so that will be e2 and that will be alpha plus 2 beta into cos it will be 2 pi divided by 3 plus 1 and that will be 4 so you will get alpha plus 2 beta cos pi by 2 right because 2 by 4 will give you pi by 2 cos pi by 4 means cos 90 degree and that is equal to 0 
so this term will become 0 and you will just get alpha because this whole term will become 0 over here so this is your k2 for sorry this is your e2 now for k is equals to 3 we will be getting e3 and that can be given as alpha plus 2 beta and cos this will be 3 pi by 3 plus 1 all right so you will be having alpha plus 2 beta cos 3 pi by 4 or uh, it, it is actually for the bio students it's actually cos 3 pi by 4 is actually equal to cos 135 degrees okay and for the math students you can write it in this way that is alpha plus 2 beta cos pi minus pi by 4 again this will come in the second quadrant that will be negative in value so it will be alpha plus 2 beta and this will be like minus 1 by root 2 okay so when you will solve this again in the similar way just the, just the way we have done over here in the similar way when you will do you will get root 2 beta with a negative sign so you will get alpha minus root 2 beta so this is your e3 so that means for this allylic system you will be having three energy levels 1 2 and 3 psi 1 psi 2 and psi 3 the energy values will be like this this will have alpha plus root 2 beta this will have just alpha and this will be alpha minus root 2 beta so that's how you can find out the energy values of different energy levels or different wave functions uh, for a given system for a given linear molecular system okay um, and this is the kind of question which is asked in CSI net exam like both of these questions which we have done both of these examples which were uh, which we have done actually uh, they have been taken from CSI net exam and uh, the ethene molecule was asked in CSI December 2012 and this the one which we have done just now was asked in gate 2012 okay so this was about the linear molecule let's try to understand for the cyclic system all right so now we will talk about for cyclic system okay we have understood um, like how to apply this particular trick and how to find out the roots of secular determinant or the uh, value of energy for the different uh, like energy levels um, for a cyclic system for linear system and now we are uh, going to understand for the cyclic system okay cyclic system is this this is a cyclic conjugated system so a system like this or if you have a benzene molecule so that is also a cyclic conjugated system okay so for them we can uh, find out the values values of energy for different energy levels um, by using this Huckel molecular orbital theory so let's try to do this one so over here what you have uh, yeah so the energy like e the energy is given by this that is e is equals to alpha plus 2 beta cos 2 k pi by n okay so that's what the formula is where your n is the number of your carbon atoms okay and this k over here now you have to be a little careful about it that your k should be either 0 or plus minus 1 or plus minus 2 and like that now here the values of k what you have to take that will depend actually uh, like that how many orbitals you have okay so that will decide that what value of k you have to put in order to get the energy orbitals so I'll try to explain you with the help of example so let's talk about this this is your cyclobutadiene obviously it will have four uh, like four psi right it will have four energy levels right so it will have four energy levels okay so let's start with this let's say when uh, if your k value is equals to zero in that case uh, if you put it in the formula this was the formula so e zero will be given by this that is alpha plus two beta and this will be like cos two into zero into pi by and how many carbons we have one two three four carbon so it will be like four now when you will solve this up this particular whole part will become cos zero and you know cos 0 is equals to 1 right so since I'll just write down cos 0 degree is equals to 1 so that's why this particular part this much part will become 1 and you will get E is equals to alpha plus 2 beta so that's what you will get for k is equals to 0 now you have to put uh, like k is equals to 1 let's say plus 1 so energy will be like this so alpha plus 2 beta and it will be like cos 2 into 1 into pi by 4 okay all right so when you will solve this up over here this will give you 2 
and this will become cos pi by 2 so cos pi by 2 is cos 90 degree and this is equal to 0 so this particular part will become 0 and you will just left out with alpha because this whole part will become 0 right so the energy will be alpha now if your k is equals to minus 1 in that case what you will get so energy will again will be become equal to alpha plus 2 beta you will be having cos 2 into minus 1 into pi by 4 right now just try to solve this up again you will be getting like pi by 2 and remember this thing uh, like I'm just writing over here that cos minus theta is equals to cos theta okay so if it is cos minus pi by 2 this will come pi by 2 right this will become 2 so cos minus pi by 2 will be equal to cos pi by 2 and that will be eventually equal to 0 again this whole term will become 0 so the energy value will become equal to alpha so this is one this is the one this is the one which you got now the next k value is like k is equals to 2 always remember when you are taking this plus minus always take the positive value of k first and then go for the negative value of k okay so now e is equals to what alpha plus 2 beta then you have cos 2 into 2 into pi by 4 okay so that will become 4 and 4 by 4 will cancel out and you'll get cos pi now cos pi means cos 180 degree and that is equal to 1 again so cos 180 is 1 so this part will become 1 and you will get how much sorry cos 180 is equals to minus 1 so if you put it over here minus 1 so you'll get alpha plus 2 beta and this is minus 1 so you'll get alpha minus 2 beta so here you got the next energy value so basically you got four values of energy now we have to arrange all of them so the values of energy which you got were actually this that is alpha um, yeah so alpha plus 2 beta then you got alpha then again you got alpha and then alpha minus 2 beta now I already told you in the starting itself that beta generally has a negative value negative numerical value so this particular part will have negative value so alpha minus something will become the lowest term okay so the lowest energy value will be your alpha plus 2 beta okay then this particular part will be negative so negative plus negative will become positive and this will have highest value so the highest energy term will be alpha mm, sorry alpha minus 2 beta and since both of them have similar energy so these are said to be degenerate energy levels having energy values of alpha okay so this is how your uh, like um, energy orbitals will be arranged and this is how they will be written now um, that also you can find out that which will be homo and which will be lumo the energy of the homo orbital and all so since you have cyclo in the cyclobutadiene uh, you have four pi electrons right so you can fill them up like this in this way so this is actually your homo right so homo is degenerate and uh, it has energy of alpha also like one more thing which i just wanted to share over here is that these electrons are unpaired and that's why it has a tendency to undergo dimerization this particular thing um, this particular cyclobutadiene undergoes dimerization and it's quite unstable okay so let's take one more example and let's try to see that how to solve this in more detail all right so let's take one more example uh, just to brush up whatever we have seen so benzene benzene will have six carbon atoms so obviously you will be having six energy levels right now for this uh, you will start from like k is equals to 0 okay because I have given that for you have to start from k 0 then plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and in the same way okay so your energy uh, value will come out to be alpha plus 2 beta and then you will be having like cos 2 into 0 plus pi by like n right so n is 6 over here because you have 6 uh, like carbon so just put it over here this will become cos 0 this whole term will become 1 because cos 0 is equals to 1 so you get alpha plus 2 beta for this okay now for k is equals to plus 1 you will have e is equals to alpha plus 2 beta then you have cos 
2 sorry this is multiply okay not plus yeah so 2 into 1 into pi so it will become 2 pi by 6 when you will solve this this will become pi by 3 actually and cos pi by 3 is nothing but uh, 1 by 2 right so yeah 1 by 2 and when you solve that okay so i will just write down alpha plus 2 beta into 1 by 2 just cancel this up and you will be getting how much you will be getting alpha plus beta so this is the value of energy which you will get for k is equals to 1 for k is equals to minus 1 uh, you will be having like the energy is equals to alpha plus 2 beta then you have cos again this will become minus 2 pi by 6 okay so minus pi by 3 and I have told you that cos minus theta is equals to cos theta actually so this will become cos pi by 3 and cos pi by 3 is again 1 by 2 again the same thing you will get so energy will become alpha plus beta right so that's what you will get it's, it's quite simple okay I'm just going little fast because I don't want to waste time on solving this trigonometric functions I hope you guys know about it now k is equals to 2 if you solve for that you have alpha plus 2 beta cos you will be having 2 into 2 pi by 6 right that means 4 pi by 6 or it can be like 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 means what it will be like uh, uh, yeah it will be like cos 120 degree okay so cos 120 degree is actually like minus 1 by 2 so we'll be putting the value over here so it will be like e is equals to alpha plus 2 beta into minus 1 by 2 when you will solve this you will get alpha minus beta that's what we'll get for k is equals to 2 now for k is equals to minus 2 again you will be having the same thing that is alpha plus 2 beta then cos minus um, like 4 pi by 6 okay so again it will be like 2 pi by 3 again cos minus theta is equal to cos theta same value that is minus 1 by 2 solve that again you will get like alpha minus beta so again you got this okay I'm just highlighting these values and at the end uh, I already told you that when you have choice to go for the next term because we have already calculated like five energy values okay we have to find out six one two three four and five so sixth one will be like k is equals to three go for k is equals to three not minus three or you, you can go for minus three as well you will get the same value so the e value will be like alpha plus two beta it will become cos two into three into pi by six okay so this will cancel out two times this will cancel out and you will get cos pi now cos pi is actually equal to minus 1 so you'll get minus 1 over here and the energy value will be like alpha plus 2 beta into minus 1 minus 1 and you will be getting how much you will be getting alpha minus 2 beta so you got these energy values we just want to arrange them now okay so you got energy values like alpha plus 2 beta then you got uh, alpha plus beta like again alpha plus beta you got alpha minus beta okay then again you got alpha minus beta and you got alpha minus 2 beta again if you want to arrange them um, how that will be arranged so highest and lowest the lowest value will be the one in the positive so alpha plus 2 beta and the highest will be alpha minus 2 beta okay so that's how you have written now these two will be degenerated okay because these are equal so these are in degenerate form so you will be writing them like this these are like alpha plus beta alpha plus beta again here they will be like alpha minus beta alpha minus beta so that's how the energy of benzene molecule will be written now benzene will have six pi electrons as you can see from the from the structure right so six pi electrons will be filled like this so now you can see that benzene is quite stable because it does not have unpaired electron it's diamagnetic in nature and like the homo of it is alpha plus beta right so this is how you find out energy for the given system at the end I'll just add up um, the delocalization energy as well I just 
I'll just add in this particular video okay so delocalization energy also I'll just explain now this particular question has been asked in CSIR net to find out um, delocalization energy for cyclobutadiene okay so I'll just write down first of all the energy values for cyclobutadiene because we have already done with them so I'll just write down the values okay so it was like alpha plus 2 beta it was alpha minus 2 beta it was alpha it was alpha okay so these were different energy values and uh, in the cyclobutadiene you were having the molecule in this way four pi electrons so they will f they were filled like this okay so this was how they were filled in the molecule so your delocalization energy delocalization energy is actually equal to total energy okay uh, total energy in conjugated system minus energy of ethene unit okay and that to multiplied by n n is the number of ethene units in that particular molecule okay so before going into that I'll just explain about the ethene system also so in the ethene system you will be having like CH2 double bond CH2 right we have done about it and we were having two energy levels having values like alpha plus beta and it was having alpha minus beta these things we have done in the video itself in the starting of the video you have two pi electrons so they will be filled like this okay now you have to just fill the like you have to just put these things in the formula and you'll get delocalization energy so how we will calculate that total energy of the conjugated system so just write down um, so two electrons in this energy level so 2 into alpha plus 2 beta plus and you have two electrons in the alpha state so 2 alpha okay this is what you will get for the total energy of the conjugated system minus energy of the ethene unit so in the ethene unit you have two electron in alpha plus beta so that's why it will be like 2 into alpha plus beta and into 2 because we have two ethene molecule two ethene units in this one this is one unit and this is the other unit so two ethene units so that's what you will, you will get over here multiply solve so it will be like when you open the bracket it will be 2 alpha plus 4 beta plus 2 alpha okay minus this will be 2 into 2 will be 4 so it will be like 4 alpha minus 4 beta why because we have opened the bracket so this minus and this plus will become minus obviously 2 alpha plus 2 alpha will become 4 alpha and if you subtract this 4 alpha it will become 0 it will cancel out and this 4 alpha beta and 4 beta will cancel out each other so you will get 0 so the delocalization energy for this particular system is 0 okay so this was a question which was asked in your CSR net exam and in a gate exam as well so it's one of the important question which I which have been asked which like which have been asked many times in the exam now that's all about this video okay I just wanted to convey like I just wanted to explain you about these tricks and I hope in the last 20 30 minutes you have just gained a little bit of knowledge about your Huckel molecular orbital and how to find out these energy states in the easiest way in the trick in the tricky way and how to find out delocalization energy now you like I'll be giving you a question to you guys okay so you guys have to solve this I hope you guys will be able to do because um, you have got a lot of knowledge in this video okay so find delocalization energy for 1 3 butadiene okay so try to find out the delocalization energy for 1 3 butadiene and write down your answer in the comment section below so yeah guys that's all for this particular video i hope you guys understood i hope you guys like this video if you like this video give it a like share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel please subscribe it and thank you for watching have a great day bye bye